That cloud over Death Mountain, there sure is something strange about it. Hello everybody, it is Beta Fish back with some more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time we did, uh, wait, what did we do last time? Clean up after the Forest Temple and got a bunch of cool stuff. Wow, ain't that neat. And I fulfilled my life lifelong childhood goal of catching the Hylian Loach. I really, I can't, I forget. Anyway. So, as you might have guessed from me going into Kakariko and Navi saying it earlier, we're going back to Death Mountain to see what's different about that place. So, let's go. Ah, I love this song so much. Man, feels like just yesterday if we were a kid going up this, and now it's not. Fight me. Okay, I promise I'm good at this game. Yeah, only took two and a half hearts of damage. Okay, so there's all these big rolling rocks around. They're not too difficult to dodge. I've learned my lesson this time. Where's your hitbox? Nailed him. That was actually more effective than I thought. So yeah, there's a bunch of rocks around here. We will be doing stuff with that later. These rolling rocks always have actually scared me. Have They always have, really. Um, okay, first thing I want to do is this bean spot we planted as a child brings us up to here. Um, I don't know where it keeps going from. It is possible, again, to do a backflip off of this up here and cheat. Wait, does that come from just right up there? I guess it does. Okay, anyway. Pizza Heart 26. Wahoo. And that's a good bean spot. I hope the numbering is correct, because I was off last time. Anyway, I, ho I hope I'm right. But where, where does this take us? I wonder. Oh, just right up here? Okay, that's a nice little shortcut. Wait, how far does this go? Oh, just up to there? Okay, I kind of was hoping it would take us all the way up to the other place. Anyway, I am going back because there is something we need to do back into Dongo's Cavern. This is actually the only dungeon we can go in uh, that kid us could. Anyway, there's a, uh, a sculptula. How do we get to it? So in this one. Don't hit me. We gotta go across this. Um, anyway, is this gonna come back down? Oh, there's a ladder. Ah, I'll just wait. <laughs> ah, uh, whoa. Yes, I'm going the long way after all, because I'm bad at this game. Seriously, why does this just hurt so much? Ugh. It's been a while since I played. Um, as you might have guessed. So. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, heck yeah. Dodged him. Okay, so remember, like, way back when... Oh, it's been a long time. Anyway, this place in here... It feels weird being in here as an adult. Dang. Anyway, so if you remember that I was standing over here and it's like, wait, why did Navi turn green? Anyway. There we go. Scarecrow song. I, I, I know what I'm about. Um, anyway, it, it spawns the Scarecrow guy in. I believe I already talked about it. And it leads you to a gold sculpture, which is pretty cool. Um, that's gold sculpture 55. Wahoo. Old sculptures are practically meaningless now. Okay, and that is it for this place. So after this, it's back to Goron City for stuff that's actually important. Man, it's still kind of mean that they put a gold sculpture there. Like, I know they don't really expect you to get all of them. I mean, I've said this once and I'll say it again. Don't get all of them. It's not worth it. I've never actually done it, but the reward you get for getting all of them is not worth it. Also, I want to travel in style. Beam me up. Let's go. No, oh, I want off. Woohoo. Um. Feeling a little rumbly there, but we're gonna tackle that later. I guess. Um. Because, what's it called? The Stone of Agony. Um. It rumbles when you're on a secret, and you can. I think it's the Song of Storms for that. Um. But I'm gonna tackle those all later, because we're not actually supposed to have the Song of Storms yet. Anyway. I'm trying to get to the center pedestal, because as you can see by a couple of those moving pixels, there's a skull boy. Um, 
I'm not going about this very intelligently, am I? Maybe if I go up to this? And then... Yeah. Yeah! Uh, that's 56. Heck yeah. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Anyway... Um... Why isn't this open? Why isn't that open? Hmm. Do we need bombs for these? Is that what opens it? I mean, as, as you can see, this place hasn't changed a lot. At first sight, at least, but we'll see. Okay, we'll be back there in a bit. Um... Trying to move on these guys. Um... Yeah, it's even a little empty around here. Where's all those Goron bros? Don't want to go that way. Where am I going? So up here. And there's this place. And then there's a rolling Goron. Okay. And I remember what to do with those guys. Oof. Uh, ripping Link. Haha. <laughs> If that wasn't clever wordplay, then I don't know what is. Okay. Oh, got him. How could you do this to me? You're, you're Ganondorf's servant. Hear my name and tremble. I am Link, hero of the Gorons. Uh, I think you're talking for us. Uh, hello there. Looking a little short. What? Your name is also Link? Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and hero Link! My dad is Darunia. Do you remember him? Dad named me Link after you because you're so brave! It's a cool name. Why, thank you. I really like it. Link, you're a hero to us Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend Link of the Gorons. Oh. I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone. What? My dad Darunia went to the fire temple. A dragon is inside. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. Boo hoo. Uh, no, that's common down. Yeah, sure, why not? What do you want to ask him? About the dragon, of course. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvagia living on this mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons, boom, destroyed it just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. I know because my dad is a descendant of the hero. Woo hoo. Ah, he's crying again. Let's ask about the Gorons. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagia! Dad said that Ganondorf has revived Volvagia. So much text as a warning to him that oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to Volvagia. This is actually horrifying. Dad went to the Fire Temple all by himself to try to save everyone. Please help Link. I'll give you this heat resistant tunic. And this is the Goron tunic, and then these open up. Okay. Uh, so you might have seen that this tunic is around in some of the, uh, the shops, and you can buy it, if you buy it, um, before, uh, he gives it to you, he has some funny text, like, oh wait, you've already got one, and I, I was kind of debating if I should buy one because I had the money, but then I ended up not doing it, um, I, now I think, is there a way to push this, yeah, grab it this way, if you pull this statue, you actually need to do this, by the way, um, it leads to the ultra special, uh, the Death Mountain Crater, and if you remember, it's like super toasty, but if you just put on some red clothes, then, or bam, well look, there's no timer, and we're red, and I like this one, so that's cool, um, I do want to go this way, and take a look at a few things, there are these brown rocks here, and if I let this blow up, 
you'll soon see that they are bomb resistant for whatever reason, so we will worry about those later. Um, so let's go up over here. Wow. Whoa, who's this? It is something that grows over time. A true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the Bolero of Fire. Ah, I love that song. You're all so good. You've learned the Bolero of Fire. And, uh, Sheik, you don't seem to have a Goron tunic, so you should probably get out of here. Yeah, good idea. Hit me with your Deku Nut. Or, wait. Where did this fire come from? Oh, here it comes. Bop. Very cool. Okay, so you play that song and it orbs you to this pedestal right here. Um, and now, somewhere around here, there's a bean spot, and I'm trying to find it. Don't blink, nope. Ah. Yeah, so somewhere there's a bean spot, and we're gonna do it. Um, go back to Childland, do it, uh, get the gold sculpture out of it, because I guess there's one more in it, so. Um, but for the life of me, I ain't seeing it anywhere. Actually, what, where the heck is this? Well, I'm gonna go and bumble around for a good hot second. Uh, that is the entrance to the fire temple. I can't wait to go there. Oh, awesome dungeon. Where is this? What? Does it only show up as a child? Anyway, I wanna go over here. I guess you don't need to help shot. You can help shot that. Um... Why is Tom Is there a scarecrow there? I don't know. Scarecrow time? Yep. Uh, what do you do? Um, is that another scarecrow? I, I mean, it's just money. I don't need it, but... Huh, I guess so. Can the hookshot reach that far though? No. And that's like how much money? One, two, three, uh, 25. Anyway. Back to the Temple of Time. Yeah, I remembered it. Heck yeah. I love being intelligent. Yes, warp to the Temple of Time. I don't know if I've actually showed this off. Um. So yeah. Have I done this actually? I don't know if I've actually ever done this. So, uh, yeah, any given moment you can go back to being a child. It's been a while since I've recorded, so hopefully I haven't done this yet. I hope. Anyway, you go over here. You uh, get the sword. Stab it in the rock. And I remember when I was younger, I would always be like, Oh, I just saw him turn back into a kid. I swear I saw him get smaller or something. I don't think that's how it works, but whatever. Um, anyway. Oh, I can't remember it. Um, and I was trying to do it with not the C stick, but with the X, Y, and Z buttons, which it makes it more difficult, so I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm self-conscious of being in the recording because GameCube controllers are noisy. I guess it only exists as a 
Kid, please tell me I have a bug. Uh, oof. Well, I'm gonna go get a bug. Be right back. All right, after much deciding of where to go, I decided that I will buy a bug because I got too much money from it. Buy something else? You know what? Why not? Uh, let's get a fairy. A fairy spirit. Hmm. That's cool, I guess. Yeah, I've always wanted to have double health. I know. Stop telling me this. Anyway, I will meet you back at the crater. Or actually not, because I'm just going to warp there. I'm gonna make you listen to this whole song and dance again. But this is a pretty good song. I know a lot of people have strong opinions on what song is the best one, and it may or may not be this one, but I like them all. Huh, you can see the sparkles be different in the place where it's at. Like super close. Cool. I'm very tempted right now to test out my theory of can you still get the gold sculpture after you put the bean in or not, but uh, I'm not brave enough. Oh, that's close enough. Anyway, this will be Sculpture Love 57. Um, go in the hole, please. Here we go. Ah. Holy cow, that spin tank is big. Okay, and then we'll plant the Beano. Wahoo. And then we will come back here as an adult. Whoa, is that a bean spot? So, if you time your jump right, like I did, you can get a piece of heart. That's okay. Yeah, this coloring's fine. And that's 27. And that's a new heart container. Wow. This game is so easy when you're 100%. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've never been. No, I wanted to ride the bean. Anyway, I wanted to show off. That it can take you over to that one over there, and I wanted to show off the other path it can take because I want to go on the ride. However, this is everything we're going to be doing in this episode. So, if this can come back any moment now. Please. There we go. Let's go a good first person view. Snag some end screen or thumbnail shots while I'm at it. Wow. Uh, yep, it just kind of leads us all over. She could stone that could have been fun to blow up. And that leads us right back to this place. Wow. Alright, well, I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye.